A DoorDash customer slams his delivery driver for complaining that his 30% tip was not enough because he judged him for having a nice house. People are greedy. So let's get into it. So a DoorDash customer has put his delivery driver on blast for saying that his 30% tip on a $15 order was not enough based on his nice house. Dr. Ethan Melillo was stunned when he received the rude message from the employee who insinuated that he should have given more than $5 just because of the appearance and size of his Rhode Island home. Melillo, who ordered a falafel meal and a lemon tea, said the restaurant was 20 minutes away from his home, which is the normal distance for his area. But the generous tip still seemingly wasn't enough for the DoorDash driver. Hmm. That's not even much food. Interesting. So in the video he said, when you give someone a generous tip and they say nice house and thanks for the $5 for a 20 minute ride. <laughs> also for reference, I live in Rhode Island and a 10 to 20 minute ride is very common because we probably have the slowest speed limits in the country. The pharmacist ordered a falafel over rice with white sauce and a Snapple lemon tea drink. His order came to $15 and he added a $5 tip for the worker. But this was enough considering how nice his house was according to the message he received. He added the total cost of my meal came out to $15 so I thought a 30% tip was pretty generous. I'm usually the type of person that tips when I even pick up food, so let me know how much should I be tipping on a DoorDash order. The pharmacist added that he had worked in the food industry before entering the pharmacy world, so I know how hard others work, so I try to give more since I've been there. And DoorDash has been contacted for comment. Yeah, so your dasher dropped off your order. Nice house. Thanks for the $5 for 20-minute ride. This actually is a really nice house, right? Interesting. Let's see. So, let's see. One person wrote on social media after viewing the story, Wow, you're better than me. I would have called DoorDash to get my tip back. Another added, I live in Rhode Island for 15 years. 20 minutes is normal. Your tip was great. A former delivery driver said, $5 tip for 20 minute ride is completely reasonable. I don't understand where are all the extra charges are coming from and why we're still expected to pay even after paying $10 more for the food, one person on TikTok said. And this comes after a DoorDash customer who was sworn at on her own porch by an entitled driver for giving a 25% tip on a $20 Pizza Hut order is a disabled military veteran. Which, by the way, we covered that too. Mom of two, Lacey Percival, 38, da, 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 da. she was on a head-on collision in March with an alleged drunk driver and currently has serious injuries to her spinal cord. Because of this, she can't cook and has been working on DoorDash to feed her family. She was left stunned after Corey, the now-fired worker, suggested someone living in a $500,000 home should have been more generous in a foul-mouth interaction caught on her doorbell camera in Kepner, Texas. The DoorDash employee shouted at few before scurrying off her property, and Lacey, who's a disabled vet, said, I can't stand. I've started using DoorDash since my accident. I worked in the restaurant industry for years before joining the military. I'm a very good tipper. Yeah, let's see some of these columns. What does the delivery fee cover? No idea. Let's see, so... For those who haven't delivered for DoorDash, a 20-minute drive is actually 40 minutes because you have to return to the area where you picked up the food. The base rate was probably $1.50 for the driver, so he makes $6.50 for 40 minutes, assuming the restaurant had the food ready when they arrived, which isn't likely. You spend almost an hour, and the customer is living in a million-dollar home, is a bit disheartening when the driver isn't making minimum wage after fuel expenses, not to mention vehicle maintenance. The only real solution is don't drive for DoorDash and don't order from DoorDash. There's no winner besides the company, even the restaurants lose. Now, 
I'm not too familiar with DoorDash because I've never ordered from DoorDash ever. I've never used any of these or like these delivery apps ever because I just don't like the idea of spending money on it. But to me, if I were to do DoorDash, like in my mind, I would try to plan it where I would have a delivery or multiple deliveries within this like same type of like travel right so like if i'm driving like 20 minutes one way i'm going to try to get other deliveries done around that way or pick up some deliveries when i go there so that it's not like a waste of time so i could just get multiple things done make multiple like i guess pay within the same time frame because like if you could make i don't know the difference between like having like a five dollar tip from like one order compared to maybe a five dollar tip on multiple orders within the same time frame makes a little bit more sense to me, right? Because I think I've seen a video, and this is more so like in like downtown, like a city location, where a guy was offered or like mm, this two orders basically got like offered for like the same type of like restaurant or the, literally the same restaurant, like Chick-fil-A or something. And, like, one was, like, a $20 order. The other one was, a, like, a $10 order. But, like, with the tips, that was supposed to be, like, you know, pre-done, basically. The guy was going to make, like, $30 or $40 within, like, 20 minutes. So, like, that's the way that I would probably, like, try to go about it. Just, like, try to, like get things to like line up as best as possible so that I'm not just doing like one delivery one way, right? If I could do like one delivery as like the long distance and then like three deliveries along that way, you could probably make a little bit more money and justify it whether they tip or not, right? So just my line of thinking, I guess. I am a dasher and I have zero sympathy for the delivery driver. He chose to take the order. If I saw a small tip on a long distance order, I would simply decline the order and wait for the next one to come in. No person in their right mind should expect a $5 tip on an order 20 minutes both ways. Driver entitlement, if he doesn't like his job and what he does, maybe it is time to consider some other work option. We have never used delivery services like this. You don't know what they are doing to your food. No way I'm having a stranger delivery my food. I cook most of our meals. For one, it tastes better. Two, it's cheaper. And three, no one has mishandled the food. If we do happen to eat out, we dine in or pick up ourselves and take home. So let's see. So this one says $5 barely covers the gas for a 40-minute drive, 20 miles each way. Definitely should have tipped more for something that far away. It being a common distance in their area is not relevant. True, if only making tip wages, but he's not. Let's see. Yep, let those customers enjoy cold food. I'm a dasher, and I am the mindset that this is a premium service, and the customer should get premium service. However, that being said, I never accept orders with a low tip. I usually base it on the distance away, up to three miles away, $5 minimum tip. Anything over that, the tip needs to be double the distance in miles minimum. This has worked for me since I started, and I have excellent ratings and customer satisfaction, let the morons who have no business sense take the low ball orders and complain about it. it doesn't affect me in the slightest. Yeah, see, I kind of like that guy's comment because, like that person's comment, because the reality of doing the whole DoorDash thing is that you're basically operating your own mini business, right? Now, technically, your business is like your job, but you are making all of these executive decisions to basically try to increase the amount of money coming in as much as possible. So if you end up 
choosing these orders that are blatantly not going to be worth it to you, that's on you, right? So I kind of like that. I like this guy where it's basically like you need to find the ones that are making like the most money like in terms of like return on investment in terms of like gas maintenance etc to justify it because if you can't justify it there's no point to do it I, i've seen like videos of like some door dashers going like nuts on the um the customer for not like tipping a good amount but some of those door dashers like drove like, like, they were, like, I guess, like, maybe, like, 20 or 30 minutes away from where the restaurant was. So, they had to drive to there, to the restaurant, then drive to the customer. It's like, why? Why would you do that? Like, why would you pick an order, like, to pick up an order where it's just not financially feasible for you? Like, to, like, justify it. Or time-wise, because like imagine driving like two hours, and you basically get paid nothing. Like that would be horrible, right? So you got to be very careful with this because like, like the biggest thing with this is like you are literally operating your own business. You got to worry about your gas, your car insurance, how much time you are spending for the amount of money that you are making. Like I seen a video where this guy was like a DoorDash driver or like an Uber Eats driver or something like that. And he ended up having a pretty high profit margin, mainly because the car that he was driving was an electric car. And he charged it at home every single day and it was basically like no cost. Even factoring in car payment and car insurance, it would actually have, like he actually spent less money on the car, like the maintenance of the car, if he were to drive like a normal car with gas. And he made, I don't know, like about three to four thousand dollars a month just from that. So it's just something that you gotta really think about. It's like does it make sense for you to do those deliveries? If it does, go ahead and do it. If it doesn't, don't take those. Because you're going to probably be pretty annoyed, and then the customer is going to be pretty annoyed because you're probably not close enough to really deliver it on time, basically.